stop and no man eventually is going to slow down a little bit. And a sign of respect and admiration from the British fight fans here for Johnny Tapia. Let's size them up right now as we check out the tail of the tape. Tapia, eight years older, the big 3-5 next month. Tapia gives away two inches in height, five and a half inches in reach. At yesterday's weigh-in, both fighters right on the mark. And the key British rules for this non-title fight, where the referee is the sole arbiter. No standing eight count, no three knockdown rule. A fighter cannot be saved by the bell except in the last round. If a fighter cannot continue due to an injury from an accidental foul, he is declared a loser by TKO. So here at historic York Hall in London, England, we are getting ready for Johnny Tapia versus Eduardo Alvarez, Jimmy Lennon Jr. Ladies and gentlemen, a very good evening to you and we welcome you to historic York Hall here in London, England as we have a big night of action coming away and it's all brought to you courtesy of Frank Warren's Sports Network in association with Showtime, Yur Murad Mohammed, and sponsored by Red Square. This bout coming away is sanctioned by the British Boxing Board of Control, the steward in charge, Robert Smith, chief physician at ringside, Dr. Ashwin Patel, timekeepers at the bell, also keeping count of the knockdowns, Peter McCann and Greg Hugh. Introducing our third man of the ring, the referee in charge of this bout, also scoring the action from Kent, England, Richie Davis. All right, fans, here we go. Ten rounds of boxing in a featherweight special attraction. Introducing to you first on my left, fighting out of the red corner. He is wearing red, white, and blue trunks, joining us all the way from Cordoba, Argentina. He weighed in at nine stone, or 126 US pounds. His record stands at 29 wins, only four losses. Six of his wins coming by way of knockout. Introducing Eduardo Alvarez. And his opponent across the ring on my right, ready to fight out of the blue corner in this 10 round attraction, wearing black trunks with silver trim, hailing from and representing Albuquerque, New Mexico in the United States. He weighed in the same as his opponent, nine stone or 126 US pounds. His record stands at 50 wins, two losses, two draws, 27 wins coming by way of knockout. Tonight, ladies and gentlemen, making his UK debut, please welcome the four-time champion of the world, known as Mi Vida Loca, introducing Johnny Tapia. Once again, a referee in charge, Richie Davis, now to give instructions, 10 rounds of boxing scheduled. Third man of the ring, Richie Davis, also a London taxi driver, former fighter whose first fight was right here in 1968 in this arena. And in England, a non-title bout has no ringside judges. Make sure you can be a good, clean contest. Be at, at by my commands at all times. Shake hands now. Good luck to you both. It'll be scored strictly by the man who just spoke, the referee, Richie Davis. If it goes to a decision, he'll simply go to the winner and raise his arm in victory. But the odds are heavily stacked against this one going the distance. Johnny Tapia usually gets right to it. Looks to send a message early. Alvarez, more of a, a boxer who looks to outwork his opponent. He's a technical guy, lacks punching power. The exuberant, flashy Tapia, who is a walking billboard for religion, as you can see with all the, the tattoos, the biggest adjoining tattoo representing the gates of heaven. In his prime, the overall speed, the sharp counter punching of Tapia. Busy, lots of combinations, and I think that's what you had as one of your keys to victory. Well, you know what, Johnny Tapia is a terrific combination puncher. He has great speed with his feet, with his hands. He'll move in, move out. He'll hit you on the way in, on the way out. He's taking his time right now, and he's working with a guy who doesn't have his ability, doesn't have his experience, doesn't have his speed or his power. So he should be in the driver's seat. Going hard to the body. Somebody's being blocked by the elbows of Alvarez. Now he goes upstairs, does Tapia. 
He's got Alvarez pinned in the corner, and he is wailing away. All over Alvarez, smothering him. To his credit, Alvarez is keeping his hands tight, blocking almost all those shots, if not totally, partially. That one's so good. And down he goes. A thumping knockdown for Tapia. Beautiful right hand to the temple, Steve. It slipped through, and I don't think he's getting up. Tapia does a backflip in the background, and that'll do it. Alvarez is a nasty belly ache. It was a beautiful left uppercut where his hook to the belly that got inside, slipped in, and just as that got in, the hands came down a little bit, right hand snuck through over the top to the temple, and Alvarez cannot finish the fight. Not even finish the first round. Eduardo Alvarez, no match for the Vida Loca. Johnny Tapia just trying to get some work in here before uh, a real significant fight looking for his fifth world title down the road in the near future he goes to 51 2 and 2 27 knockouts coming back successfully after the long long layoff since june and with this one in the bag one of the scenarios for tapia as mentioned could be to fight the winner of tonight's main event for the wbo featherweight crown particularly if it's chacon he's not certain about polo because of the height he may make a determination based on what he sees later. Or he could challenge IBF featherweight champ Manuel Medina. Good show of sportsmanship there. There's Danny Romero, senior, the trainer, who is temporarily replacing James Buddy McGirt, who is out training Arturo Gatti for Tehran Millet. Johnny Tappy ever the aggressor working on the, in the corner, first getting in, uh, Alvarez in trouble. You see like a quadruple left hook to the body. The first couple not blocked. One eventually slips through, and you'll see a right hand come up to the temple. Johnny just staying on top of him, working on the inside. Alvarez doing his best to block as much as he could, but Johnny has very quick hands, and he throws them from very awkward angles. There you see a couple again, the left hooks on the side, being blocked. Right hand up top, not landing real clean. One of these left hooks slips in right in the middle, and then a right hand goes up inside to catch him on the temple and lights out there's the left hook that hurt to the belly and then johnny eventually come up with a right hand there to the temple as the hands came down and alvarez is done tapia forcing alvarez into the ropes less than 45 seconds into the fight and never let him get away and here we'll look at the end of it again from the inside opposite angle the left hook that comes through into the belly right in there and then the right hand will come up top to the temple right there. And that left hook to the belly hurt more than the right to the temple, but that right to the temple was a coup de grace. And the celebratory backflip. backflip. <laughs> Johnny Tapia trademark. He salutes the crowd. The crowd salutes him. 122 of round number one. Johnny Tapia picks up his seventh first round knockout in his illustrious career. The official announcement from Jimmy. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a time of one minute, 22 seconds in round number one. Our referee in charge, Richie Davis, reaches the count of 10. The winner by way of knockout, successful in his UK debut, Mi Vida Loca, Johnny Tapia. Johnny Tapia comes a long way for a very short fight. His first trip to England as a pro, and he made it count. Short but sweet. So a first round knockout for Johnny Tapia over relatively unknown, unheralded Eduardo Alvarez, clearly not in the same class as Mi Vida Loca. Coming up next, our main event, WBO featherweight champion Julio Pablo Chacon defends his crown against warhorse Victor Polo.